the next question it is based on the case when your lamina is inclined to one of the principal planes so it is a circular lamina okay of 5 cm diameter and it is inclined at 30 degree to vp according to the question our distances from hp and vp are also given to you right so just read out this question carefully so according to the question this is question number 3 so there is a circle okay uh, whose center is lying 30 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp or 3 cm and 2 cm why and the same things so let us just start drawing first of all draw the xy line this is x and this is y let us locate the point Just draw a projection line. So always make a habit of drawing a projection line first. Okay, so draw a projection line. Like this, you draw the projection line. so after this you have to draw a circle let me just draw the circle first so in this circle let us say this is this this is the center one is this other center is this so according to the question this is equal to 3 cm or 30 mm so i am writing 30 over here and this here this is equal to 20 mm as per the question so after this you have to divide the circle into in number of equal parts let us say we are dividing it into eight equal parts so you divide the circle into eight equal parts like this
So then you can name these points. Let us name these as let it be one, one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, so five dash, six dash, seven dash, and eight dash. Right? So after this, you draw the projection lines from all these visible points. So this you have to draw till this point. Like this, you have to draw. Right. So when you see it from the top. So this will be six, this point will be six. This will be seven comma five, because you see it from the top, seven comes first, then comes five. It will be named like this, then eight comma four, then one comma three, and then two. Right, so this is the first part. Basically, since it is given inclined to VP, in the first step, we will make it parallel to VP. So it is like this. Basically, it is given like this that it is inclined to VP. So since it is given inclined to VP, you will not be able to see the actual shape of this in any of the views. So in the first step, we will make it parallel to VP. So this step is parallel to VP. Okay. Now, after this, we will make it inclined to VP over here. So just see how to do it. Now, what is the angle given to us? The angle is given 30 degree. It is 30 degree inclined to VP. Just draw projection line from here. Horizontal projection line. So we have to keep this distance seen. And then you have to draw the same line over here at an angle of 30 degrees. So let us just draw this. Let us draw a projection line like this. Now here we can mark this line. It is like this. This thing you have to draw. Keeping the center at 20 mm. Remember this center, this is the center of the circle. This should remain at 20 mm. Right? So the naming will be same. It will be 6, then 7, 5. This is 8, 4. This is one comma three and this is two. Right, and this angle here is 
it is equal to 30 degree according to the question right so now what we need to do here we have to draw these at an angle of 30 degree right let us just decrease this distance now draw the projection lines draw the horizontal projection lines from here this you have to draw from all the visible points and from here out right and then draw the projection lines from these uh, five corners also vertical projection lines we'll draw vertical projection lines from here right so this is so we have just you know uh, drawn the projection line and now we will match the corresponding points so matching corresponding points you match one with one so this is the line coming from one dash one and this is the line coming from one so this will be i'll name it as one one dash then from two i'll name it as two one dash then from three i'll name it as three one dash four one dash five one dash six one dash Seven one dash, and this at the last it will be eight one dash. Right, so this is the uh, joining the corresponding points, and now basically you have to join this one 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 dash two one dash all these. Okay, making this an ellipse. This will form an ellipse basically. Okay, and this you have to do it free handedly so no instrument you will be using to draw this so do it free handedly
yes so it will be like this so this is the ellipse so this is the inclined part right this is the inclined part so this will be visible when it is inclined at 30 degrees so it is like this or like this you can see it will be an ellipse that is visible to you and this is the compressed circle basically this is a compressed circle 